Hi, I'm Robert with MicaSense, and I'm here to talk about all of the different integration kits and options that we have for our two uh, sensors, the Altum and Red Edge MX. Um, so here in front of me, I have a Matrice 100, and I have an Inspire 2, and I also have with me a Matrice 200 down here on the floor. We offer different integration kits for our two sensors. Um, one is called the quick mount. That's this mount on top. Here I have an Altum with a quick mount on top of it. I'll start with the Matrice 100 here. Um, so you can see it's got the standard Matrice 100 mount for the camera. The quick mount completely powers the sensor but it doesn't send any communication such as triggering commands. The kit also includes a mast for the DLS, which goes right on top of the Matrice 100 or 600 and uses screws to securely attach the DLS to the mounting plate. Now, if you wanted to install the quick mount on the Inspire 2, we have an option for that. The, the Inspire 2 quick mount comes with the XT adapter here, the Zemmuse XT adapter like so. You can just twist that on and now you have a quick mount that will attach to an Inspire 2 or a Matrice 600 Pro or an M200. And it just twists on. And this one also comes with a DLS mount that screws right into these two top screws on the Inspire 2. And we can use the Quick Connect with an Altum or a Red Edge MX or even a Red Edge M. And it's able to pull power from the Inspire 2 directly. And it's so easy to switch between drones, like for the M100 or the 200 or the 600, for example. It's very easy to switch between drones. But yeah, that just goes right on the Matrice 200. And um, what we actually sell for the Matrice 200 is called the DJI Skyport, which offers a full integration with, uh, with the DJI Matrice 200. So it's not just about powering, it also offers triggering capability with certain flight applications, uh, as well as other communication. It gets the GPS directly from the drone as well, so it's got a shared GPS. So we've got this integrated DJI Skyport, which is designed for the Matrice 200 and all the power and communication, everything is run through this one cable. So it's a very streamlined, compact solution, and it's very easy to mount onto the drone. And that's all there is to it with the Skyport. The Skyport's very easy to install, and it's also easy to plug in the DLS directly to the Skyport. When you buy the Skyport, you're also getting the top mount here for the DLS, which goes on the standard DJI mast. So you can just easily screw it in. It's very secure. There's no tape or anything like that. Everything's screwed in. We're using the mounting holes on the DLS. So it's a very tight integration. So here we have the Skyport Altum. We have a Skyport for Red Edge MX, which is fully integrated as well. Then we have the standard Red Edge MX, which you would attach to the quick mount here. And then we have the Altum connected to the quick mount. So there are some advantages and disadvantages with these options. Uh, for the Skyport, you can see it's much cleaner in terms of cabling. Not a whole lot of cable management to do here. The other advantage with the Skyport is that with that, you're getting the communication, you're getting GPS, you're getting triggering commands, you're getting powering all from the Skyport. So of course there's a premium attached to that. You could also go with the quick mount, which is a less expensive option but there are a lot more cables to manage, which you can just manage with cable ties, things like that. You can still keep it pretty slick, keep everything wrapped up. The other disadvantages are that you won't be able to get the communication from that you would from the Skype port. The camera can trigger itself, so that's not really such a big deal. Um, so you get a nice integration at a lower cost, less integration options, such as the triggering and the GPS that you get from the Skyport. And you can move it to the Inspire 2, or you could move it to the, M, the M100 or 600, or uh, other DJI drones that you may have, simply because this connector uh, is meant to attach to any of those. So those are all the integration options we have. Um, there's also the Inspire 1, which is not on this table, but is very, very similar to the Inspire 2. 
and the Inspire 2 and the Inspire 1, Matrice 200, Matrice 100, Matrice 600, which probably wouldn't fit on this table. Um, and those are all the integrations we have. If you have any questions, you can always contact us at sales at micasense.com or visit our website, micasense.com.